Really shoot the ball off the catch and the bounce. Inside La Bamba. Just a little layup there from the baseline. And just a minute and a half, he sits on the bench. Run back in there with the basketball, up and in. Very quickly, making his presence felt with his first basket of the game. Bullock working down low, misses. Rebound for Dunn, off the glass and in. And again, the length at a 6 form. This is an iso play for Dunn. They like to play him off the ball at times to just give him some space. And on top right now. Dunn to Bento. A little turnaround bid there for Bento. That's a nice duck in by Bento when he's one-on-one -on -one cover. Jalen Lindsay now trying to answer with a three, and he'll get it to go. Wasn't pretty, but James Dyson tried the layup. Lindsay. That's a three-pointer. Time for Lindsay, and back come the Friars. Quickly on top here by seven, and Lindsay puts up another three. Jalen Lindsay all of a sudden, a couple of three-pointers. I come the Friars quickly and slipping on the floor that time. Lamamba inside to Dunn. Making the extra pass, and it's one and done so far for Providence. And they rebound and control tempo. I think they're the number one team in the country right now. Tom Mizzle does a great job getting his guys to play hard with that grit. Split. Certainly, you have to look at their early season success as a league in the Big East as a good sign for March when they look at tournaments. Wins last year. They're under 514 to 16 overall. Look out. Here's Big Ben Bentle coming in. Just a great pass off the pick and roll and keeping his dribble. Here comes Chris Dunn into your living room. Well, no one's going to stop him in transition. He's too quick, too athletic. And then a long range shot here. And no surprise there. Villanova certainly playing at a high level. And Dunn tries to find an angle and gets it to go. Well, that's the part of his game that's improved from last year. His confidence in taking that jump shot and with good defenders with size. Dunn gets the rebound. His 10th board, his second career triple double. And the crowd, a knowledgeable crowd here at the Dunkin' Donuts Center, knows that he got his triple double.